Cool. So yeah, like you said, I am Jelani Jenkins. I grew up in Silver Spring, not too far from here. Uh, played, you know about it? I played in Maplewood. Y'all know Maplewood, they kick butt now. No, not when I was there. 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 Um, but yeah, went to good council, uh, played at the University of Florida four years, and then played with the Dolphins. I got drafted to the Dolphins, played there four years, finished my last year with Oakland and the Houston Texans. And I did like John Dolphins. <laughs> I did. But no, that that was uh, that was how my career went. And now that I'm, that was two years ago. I'm retired, and I'm transitioning into other things. One is film production, another is mind body sports, the camp that you went to. So yeah, so it's been exciting. But what I want to do while I'm here, I don't have a whole lot of time because I have to leave pretty soon. But I want to just give you guys a couple of tools that I think will help you and girls. Nice to see you guys. I want to give you all some tools that I think will help. One of the things that I was thinking about was when I was your age, in the fifth grade, I had a teacher in my middle school and he would give us these assignments. It was called Dreams and Goals. This is a lesson that I learned at a very young age through these assignments, but these Dreams and Goals were, were done so that we could all get a chance to know exactly where we want to be, where we want to go in life, what we wanted to do in life. So raise your hand if you know what you want to do in life. You want to go to the NFL? How about you? NFL. How about you? NBA or NFL? NFL. How about y'all? Y'all want to be teachers? How about you? What is it? Cyber cyber security engine cyber security engineer. He said, "Wow, how about that? How about you?" NFL? All right, so we got you. How about you? NFL, NBA. So we have a lot of uh, sports, cybersecurity engineer. We got teacher. So that's exciting. So when I was your age, I also wanted to be in the NFL, obviously. Um, so the main first step when you think about your dreams and where it is that you want to go and to maximize your potential is you have to be able to see it, right? You can't hit a target that you can't see. So. The fact that you all already know what it is that you want to do and where you want to go is the first step. And that's one of the most important steps. But one of the things that my teacher taught us through these assignments was that it's not just enough to know it, it's not just enough to see it, but you have to understand why you want to be there, or why you want to be that person, why you want to be a teacher, why you want to be a cybersecurity engineer. That's where you find your purpose. That's where you find your drive, what it is that's gonna get you up every morning. When times get tough, when you get injured, you have to have something bigger than just your what. You have to know why you wanna do it. That's gonna get you going. So who here knows why they want to be what they wanna be? NFL player, why do you wanna be an NFL player? So you can be accomplished in life? That's cool, that's cool. That's another, Does anybody else know why? so that you can be famous. Okay, that's real. Why do you want to be a teacher? Because you like kids? How about you? Same, because you like kids? Why do you want to be a cybersecurity engineer? Do you know why? No? It's okay if you don't know why yet, but the whole part, the whole reason for this assignment was it made us dig deeper and deeper and deeper and find a big enough why. So, fame and fortune and money, unfortunately, aren't big enough whys because they don't last forever. And there are a lot of people who chase fame, who chase money, who chase these smaller whys, and they get there and they realize that they're still sad, they're still unfulfilled because they didn't find a bigger purpose. So when I was young, I, I grew up in the church. I don't know how about you all, but I grew up in the church and so on my paper, what I wrote down was that I wanted to play the professional football league and I wanted to be able to use that influence to be able to bring people closer to God. And that was, that was what I used as my why. That was my, my driving force. That was the light that was shining from within. And so I always felt like whenever I got on the football field that I had a bigger purpose, that 
that I was being guided because of this purpose. And so every time that I hit somebody, every time that I grabbed the ball in my head, I was doing this so that I can bring people closer to God. So that was what drove me. Now everyone has their own purpose and everyone has their own why. But what I encourage you all to do, because you're not too young. I was fifth grade when I did this. So you're not too young to do it, but it's okay if you don't know it yet. But I encourage you all to start thinking about, okay, what it is that I want to go? Where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? And then start thinking about why I want to be that. And really start, keep asking yourself why, 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 why? Like, why do I want to have a lot of money? Because I want to give the money to a, a service, community service, yeah, anything. You could keep asking yourself why to find out your biggest purpose. And what I realized is your why, your big why, that sticks with you, it comes from inside. So no matter what you do in life, because injuries are gonna happen. Not everyone, unfortunately, is gonna be able to make it to the NFL because of injuries, and it happens. But if you have a big enough why, that translates to anything that you wanna do. So there are a lot of people who made it to my level in the NFL and got a lot of money, got a lot of fame, but they weren't able to transition once they stopped playing because their career stopped. They had no other why to keep going. Okay, so the first thing you want to really understand your target. You want to really understand where it is that you want to go. You want to understand your why. You want to guard and protect it with your life. That why, that purpose that's inside of you, the reason why you get up and do what you do, the reason why you go and play on the football field, you want to protect that with your life. That's your life. Think of it as a light inside of you. You want to protect it because there are gonna be people as you get older that are gonna tell you that you can't do it. There are gonna be people that are gonna to wanna to distract you. There are distractions everywhere, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Through your phone, every time you turn on the news, there's something going on. There's people distracting at all times. So you have to be, we all have to be diligent, parents, everybody, we have to be diligent in, in remembering our purpose and allowing that to guide us forward. Okay, and the, and the earliest you can do that, the more success you'll be able to have in the next level. Okay? And here, here are some tools, here are some steps to be able to do that. Write it down. Draw it out. Remember it. Do whatever you can to remember these things when times get tough. When you have an injury, when you don't make the team that you thought you were going to make, whatever it is, Remember the reason why you started in the first place. That's how you turn something bad to something good, okay? That's how you redefine what it means to fail. Okay, a lot of people, they think failure is when you take a step and you don't make that step and you fall down. Or when you don't make a team that you applied for. People consider that failure. And because of that fear of failing, they don't even take the next step or they, or they stop completely because of fear of that. But the real failure is when you stop taking that next step, okay? Failure doesn't happen if you learn the lesson. So when you fall down, when you don't make the team, learn the lesson. Life is completely about lessons and just learning them. Doesn't matter if you fall down, just get back up and keep learning the lesson, keep going. If you know where you're going, then each lesson is gonna propel you forward and forward and forward and forward. There's no such thing as going backwards. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say? So just keep that in mind. And the last thing that I wanna leave you guys with is to learn to live life with gratitude. A learn, learn to live life thankful. There's always something to be thankful for. There's always something to be, to have gratitude for. Okay, imagine if we were doing this talking here and there was no AC, no air conditioning. Just imagine how hot it is outside if it was hot in here. It would, it would stink. Be thankful for the air conditioning. Be thankful for the air. Question? Be thankful for your parents. There's always something to be thankful for. No matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad you think it gets, there's always something to be thankful for. Y'all are too young to be having uh, relationships. Y'all are too young to be having boyfriends, but you're going to <laughs> you're going to have 
there's going to be uh, breakups, you know, and, and at the time it's going to feel like the worst thing in the world. But when you, 20 years down the line, you're gonna look back and say, okay, I know why I had to go through that lesson so that I can be in this marriage. And you're gonna learn those lessons. I know y'all too young for that, but just understand everything is a lesson. So learn from it, learn your lesson and keep on growing, continuing to take steps forward, okay? For questions, so we can so we can ask questions now. So what was your question? Linebacker. Middle. Middle, yes, and outside both. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah. Are there are there any other questions? Guys, got any questions on how you get to the NFL? What did you made himself from others? I went to the University of Florida. Yeah, the Gators. Why did I want to go to the NFL? I wanted to go to the NFL, and that's what I wrote in my goals. I wanted to go there so that I could use that influence to be able to make change in people's lives, to empower people, to bring people closer to God. Um, and that was my purpose. That was why I did it. So being able to find your big why is gonna help propel you forward and move you forward to that next step, okay? And another thing, the reason why I say Gratitude is so important. The reason why I say learn to live life thankful and being grateful is because, raise your hand if you know what the number one cause of death is in America. Drugs? Nope. Fear? Nope. Heart attack? Huh? Heart attack? Heart, this causes heart attacks. Parents, do you know? Stress. Stress. <laughs> Stress is the number <laughs> chronic, chronic stress is the number one cause. There's six out of ten of the leading causes of death are caused from stress. Okay? Stress causes disease. So if stress causes death and disease, what do you think the opposite, gratitude and joy causes? What do you think that'll do for you? A good a great life, an amazing life. It's impossible to be stressful and have gratitude at the same time. You can't, you can't be in a state of thankfulness and be stressed at the same time. And so what I'm gonna leave you guys with is a, a, a morning warm up. I would call it a warm up. It's a warm up, just like y'all warmed up just now on the, on the track. This is like a mental warm up. And it's the way I start every single morning. And I'm gonna do a simplified version, but the way I do it, it usually takes about 15 minutes, but it's gonna take two minutes, all right? So what I want y'all to do. Absolutely. A lot of parents here, a lot of coaches. Um, can you give some quick perspective on how to be able to help the kids with injuries, what's important to sports or anything like that, and all this? I met his parents before and never really lived. Can you give a little bit of this 30 second tip for yourself? Yeah. For for the parents, I think the biggest, biggest thing that helped me out when I was going through injury was my parents positive reinforcement, um, just help, having them teach me that it's not the end of the world <laughs> because I used to like just blow up everything out of proportion. Like if I had a bump, I would call it cancer. You know what I mean? Like I would just go, <laughs> that was just how my imagination worked, but they were able to like keep me very grounded and also um, just remind me that this too shall pass. And, and to just, just, they just flooded me with positive reinforcement. Um, cause injuries were a big part of my life. Actually, um, that sounded bad. They weren't a big part of my life, but I had injuries in certain parts of my life. Yes, injury did take me out of the NFL. But, um, going into the NFL, I had the opportunity to get drafted higher, but right before the draft, I broke my foot and wasn't able to participate in the combine. And my parents were a big part of me, um, just keeping me focused as I transitioned out of that, out of college. I had, a, I had a chance to stay another year. I left early. And so my parents were able to really just keep reinforcing positivity in me, along with things that I was doing myself, but I just had to keep that positive atmosphere because that causes healing. That helps healing when you're able to not be in that stressful environment. Just like stress causes diseases, gratitude, joy, positivity causes healing. And so that's what I was able to learn at a young age. I, I, I normally healed faster than most people around me. So, yeah. So yeah, 
Any other questions from any, are you? I got drafted 2013. Yeah. By the Dolphins. Fourth. Fourth round. Yeah, yeah. So, what I want to, and, and parents, you all can join too. What we're going to do, we're going to just close our eyes and take a few deep breaths, all right? <laughs> this, this is what I do. This is what I do every morning, okay? So, close your eyes. We're going to take a deep breath of four count in. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Breathe in love. Two, three, four. Breathe out gratitude. Two, three, four. One more time. Breathe in love. Two, three, four. Breathe out gratitude. Two, three, four. Now on this last one, we're gonna do it again. Breathe in love. Two, three, four. Now hold it. And when we breathe out this gratitude, I want y'all to breathe out loud so everybody can hear you. And I want you to smile at the end of it, all right? Breathe out gratitude. <laughs> Appreciate y'all having me. Thank you. I'm, I'm so sorry I have to run. My father is getting married this weekend and there's a rehearsal dinner, so I gotta, he's getting remarried. But thank you guys for having me, appreciate you. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.